Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. On this one, I'm going to show you how to do this awesome glitch stutter. It's very, very simple to do. It'll take you about two minutes to go through it step by step. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, everything's gone. Drag and drop some footage into your timeline, and let's just go ahead and make it a short clip, like a couple seconds long. Perfect. The next step, hold down the Alt key on a Mac, uh, Option key on a PC, and push up. And what happens is we've got a duplicate copy. Beautiful. Now, move this second video up about 10 frames. So right about, yeah, right there, okay? So there you go. You'll see here that this one now starts on the 10th frame. So we've got a, basically, we've just sort of made a gap between the two of them. The next step, we're going to go to our effects panel, and we're going to grab the strobe light effect. Type in strobe, and under video effects stylized strobe, you'll see strobe light. Presto, drop it on there. And now we've got a weird look, but not to panic. What we want to do now is we want the strobe duration. We're going to click on this. It's 0.5 by default. We're setting it to 0.15. And we're also going to go ahead and adjust the random strobe probability. So right now it's at 0%. Making sure your playhead is stuck at the beginning of the second track here. Go ahead and click on this stopwatch from beside random strobe probability. 0% there. And then by the end of it, I want it to be about 100%. So we're just basically animating the strobe probability. Now, the last thing you want to do for strobe light is we're gonna go ahead and change this from operates on color only to makes layer transparent. It's quite a bit of a difference. So here we go, if I hit play, you'll see that we've already got a glitch in place and it's working. Now, the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and take this up to a scale of about 110. And the reason why we're doing that is it just gives it a little bit of a glitch, like it scales up a little bit as well as sort of, um, you know, stutters. So we've got a little bit of both going on there, but we need some more. The next step is we're gonna go back to our effects panel. We're gonna type in one, oops, and it's gonna be VR, type in VR chromatic. And what we're looking for is VR chromatic aberrations. Drag and drop that onto the top clip. Now, in your Lumetri color workspace, where I am right now, if you don't see it, just go like I did there, workspaces color. Just take the saturation down to about zero. And then, now we're gonna see some pretty cool stuff. So now I'm gonna hit spacebar, and there you go. It glitches out and it becomes transparent. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching.